What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out the 2022 Alpina B5 Touring. This is the all new B5 based on the facelifted BMW 5 Series, the LCI as they call it. Now we've made a review with the Alpina B5 by Turbo, the previous one which we absolutely loved but apparently this one is even better. And we've got a new importer for Alpina in the Netherlands, which is Dusseldorp BMW. They are now officially the importer for Alpina in the Netherlands. So if you are interested in any Alpina model, go check them out. Uh, you can find everything and anything Alpina you want over there. And of course, big thanks to them for giving us this car for the day. Uh, which is an awesome Sofisto Grau Alpina B5 with a couple of very nice goodies. So today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to take a look at everything Alpina and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn Blast. So as I said, Sofisto Grau, I have to say the spec is, it is very under the radar and especially the interior, a bit dull, just a lot of black leather. It is very nice, but a bit boring. You can go absolutely nuts at Alpina with all kinds of delicious leather and wood options. So I would suggest if you go and spec an Alpina, make sure you spec it well, like an Alpina should be specced. You can go absolutely nuts. I do like the fact that this one is so inconspicuous. I mean, I was watching Martijn doing the Autobahn POV and the car just came flying by at like 300 and it just looked like a 5 series but it just went like hell and it, it looks so cool now of course we do have an alpina front bumper with a, a badge in there in silver and the pinstripe all around the car the front end has been designed so that more air can be taken in to the engine 40 percent larger air intakes i believe this car has and we've also got beautiful alpina wheels now this is the 20 inch classic alpina wheel but it is in himalaya gray and i really really love this i think this is super pretty you've got a little bit of a metallic flake in there as well you can get it in silver black or this himalaya gray i think this is the one to go because you can see that it's an alpina wheel it is very recognizable but it's a bit more under the radar than i mean if you have the silver wheel it is it does look awesome but it's you know it's very bright and uh, this is a bit more understated i really like that and behind that we've got alpina brakes so these are the standard brakes with fixed calipers at the front four piston 395 millimeter discs at the front and then we've got 398 millimeter discs with floating calipers at the rear now you can also go for the high performance braking kit that is an upgrade an optional extra with perforated discs now if you want to know what alpina is all about uh, there is one sentence on the website that sums it all up yes you can have a high performance braking kit and the brakes are incredible. I mean, these are fantastic already. So the high performance brakes are going to be incredible, but the perforated discs do not have the same acoustic comfort as these regular discs. So they're not as quiet, the discs, as this. I mean, that is what sums it up. They are all about high performance in comfort. I really love that. Um, so we've got Pirelli P0 rubber around that. Uh, these are specifically designed for Alpina. You can see that because we've got an ALP code right there. And these tires are high performance tires developed for optimal grip and of course comfort and noise levels. So that is again what Alpina is all about. Suspension, we've got shorter and stiffer springs. And then we've got the adaptive damping from Alpina as well. So what they basically do is they lower it to make it more sharp and to lower also the center of gravity to improve handling and aerodynamics but they add a setting to the dampers which is comfort plus so the diversity of the driving modes increases the sport plus is sportier than a bmw m550i for instance i'm going to compare it to that and the comfort plus setting is more comfortable than the comfort setting so they try to increase 
that uh, broadness of ability, which is very cool. Down the side, we've got the Alpina pinstripe again, and uh, we've got uh, tinted windows, shadow line. It looks freaking awesome, this car. It's such a beautiful estate car. I absolutely love it. And then at the rear, we've got the Alpina B5 badge and then a new rear bumper with the Alpina exhaust. Sounds magnificent. The sound is really good. Nice V8 rumble, not too much. No burbles or pops or whatever. Just sounds like a nice V8. Now, this is of course the business end of this car. Um, this is the 4.4 liter V8 bi-turbo that you find in a BMW M550i, but it has been tweaked. Now I have to say, I'm not sure what they did this time, but, but the power went from 608 horsepower to 621 horsepower. I believe that this step from 608 in the pre-facelift to 621 in this one is mainly ECU and improved cooling. But the last time uh, we drove this car, so the 608 horsepower version, I know that that one has uh, forged pistons or stronger pistons and different turbos than the M550i engine. So. I'm not sure if they took that base and then they just had to fiddle with the ECU and improve the cooling to get 621. But I guess that's the case. Um, it also has 800 newton meters of torque, which is very, very strong. Yeah, you can't see that much. Nice V8 badge back there, Alpina, Alpina logo. Yeah, it is a freaking beast. regular chrome grille as well it just looks like a regular 5 series that has been spiced up a little bit i love that and on the interior we've got a lavalina leather on the steering wheel with green and blue stitching on the steering wheel that is an option alpina badge right there and then the rest is lavalina 2 so this is all alpina leather which is very very soft and I believe this is just BMW leather. So there are a lot of different leather and interior packages you can select at Alpina. Uh, this one, as I said, the interior is not that exciting, especially because, you know, it's black leather and uh, we've got this piano black on the dash as well with a little Alpina logo there. But as I said, you can go absolutely nuts uh, with interior specs at Alpina. Also, you get a little badge here, BMW Alpina B5, Touring 737, which is cool. I think this is the production number. And well, it really is like a freaking Alpina Boeing 737. It is so fast and comfy and uh, quite like that. Little black, very cool. And of course, we've got the blue Alpina dials speedometer in front of us that goes up to 340 kilometers an hour. Now it won't go that fast, but 322 is the top speed of this touring this freaking station wagon 322 kilometers an hour that is 200 miles an hour um, if you go for the sedan it is even higher 330 which is nuts i'll turn that off so let's take it for a little drive and we're going to do that in sport plus now Alpina changes the active roll stabilization as well, uh, the gearbox, the 8-speed ZF. They also fiddle with the four-wheel steering and the steering in general to make it a little bit more sharp. So they do change a lot. It's not just, you know, a little tune. It's It is the entire car that changes. The, the character of the car is different than a BMW. Now we've also got these, forgot to show you those pimples behind the steering wheel. Yeah, I can't show them now, but there are two bulges behind the steering wheel that replace the pedal shifters, uh, which, I mean, they've done that forever now. And it is still like, it's just, Alpina is sending you a message. Don't use those. It's it's not there to be used. It's there because we want, you know, to be able to shift gears ourselves, but just put it in S or D, leave it there, 
point the car at the horizon and go. So this is Sport Plus mode. As I said, springs are a bit stiffer and shorter, so the car is a bit lower, but I mean, still it's very, very comfy. It's just that you just feel that the car goes where you want it to go. It is a very, very good car to drive for such a big thing, 2150 kilos, something around that, I think. And it just feels a lot lighter than that. Now, the sound, as I said, it does sound very good. And by very good, I mean not too loud. It, it just sounds like a proper V8 in here as well. It's just, oh, it's so fast. It kind of surprised me there how fast it is. Yes, yes, I'm stopping and then I'm going again, okay? Oh man, that is a lot of power. And the sound is just, as I said, it is perfect. It's perfectly judged because you have that that V8 rumble but it's it's not over the top and it fits the like long distance cruiser character of this car very well alrighty so at the Autobahn this of course is what this car is built for Autobahn cruising and it is one of the best cars I think for this purpose because of course you can buy an M5, but you can't buy an M5 Touring. You can't buy an M550 Touring even. You can't even buy a 5 Series Touring with, with a V8. You have to buy an Alpina for that. And the added practicality of having a Touring to be able to throw all your crap in the rear, that is just nice. Okay, so here we go, full throttle. You can hear the crisp gear shifts. And the way this car gets up to speed is absolutely incredible. And the lack of drama is even more impressive. Okay, <laughs> the second attempt, we have quite a bit of holiday traffic, like it seemed, but it is incredible. Continuing my story, how this car gets up to speed. Yeah, it's just way too busy. I mean, I'm going to have to pray for a freaking miracle. So comparing this car to four cars, four others, BMW M5, BMW M550i, Audi R6, Mercedes E63 wagon. Of course, the M550i is not available as a, an estate car, but they all sort of have their own place. This really is, you know, the, the most insane, highest top speed, but still so inconspicuous. It is so under the radar and, you know, no one hates this car. It's just a car without pretension. It, it looks like a fast five series, but it is the fastest of them all. It has the highest top speed of them all. And that just makes it very, very cool. Now we are in Sport Plus mode, as I said, but it's still super, super comfy. This is basically, you know, also for the Autobahn. And of course, we also measured the 100 to 200 performance of this car, which was 7.88, which is seriously quick. That's almost a second quicker than an Audi RS6, for instance. So it is properly fast and it does so in such a cool way it, it's just so relaxed the suspension is nice and soft but still gives you enough feedback so that you feel comfortable doing speeds like this and now you've got proper brakes from 316 to 170 no problem regular steel discs absolutely magnificent we were talking about that Alpina doesn't offer carbon ceramics for this car but honestly you don't really need them these brakes are incredible 
of course if you do that a lot 316 to 170 then they are going to get hot and you would benefit from carbon ceramics but braking performance is super super impressive and performance compared to the pre-facelift B5 is very impressive as well as I said it went from 608 to 621 but the 100 to 200 performance has increased by more than that basically uh, it went from eight and a half seconds around eight and a half 8.6 something like that to that 7.88 so it seems like that extra cooling also means that the car can just deliver that power more often now because the holiday traffic is going to the Netherlands I'm going to try and see if this side is any good we usually always turn around over there but it seems like it's emptier on this side man that 300 is just nothing for this car absolutely adore this thing it is incredible honestly this is this has to be one of the best autobahn cars we've ever driven the way this thing does 320 is unmatched it's so comfy it's so quiet oh it's been built for this and you can really feel that now the way they built these cars while i'm stuck behind another car here is that uh, they actually built these engines and suspension components and stuff like that into regular 5 series at the BMW production plant and then the car is brought to Alpina and they install all the interior parts and the leather and the wood and everything like that so uh, the relationship is very close between Alpina and BMW and now of course a couple of weeks ago they announced that BMW is going to buy Alpina and uh, I hope that it's a good thing that it stays exclusive but also I kind of hope that more people get into these Alpinas because they are awesome and uh, they are much much better cars than I think people think mm, yes please really makes me want one That is so nice. <sighs> what up? We need more cars. This is awesome. We need more Alpinas. We need an Alpina. Uh, I'm really, I know that this car can go even faster, but the traffic just won't allow it today. And I'm saying that having done 320 already, so it, that sort of gives you an idea of how incredible this car is. Zero to 100. I didn't. I don't. I don't think I covered that already. Um, the sedan does 3.4 seconds, and this Touring 3.6. Pretty impressive. Still, I think we've been able to do a 3.5 run. So it is very, very quick. So there we go, one last pull. I don't think I'll be able to beat that 320 kilometers an hour because as you can see, it is too busy with folk like this in their RVs. But man, what an impressive car. Wow, it is the station car for the lady or gentleman who wants to travel in style and at high speed. And it is incredible at that. I've got one last stat for you. Zero to 250 kilometers an hour compared to an RS6. This car is 2.4 seconds quicker. 2.4 and it's 2.5 seconds quicker than the pre-facelift 
Alpina B5, so the 608 horsepower version. This car, this new facelifted version is amazing. It is It is so fast and comfortable. So, if you are looking for a car that can cover a lot of ground at very, very high speeds and with a lot of comfort, this is probably your car. I mean, they've got other cars like the B3 and the XB7 and stuff. So if you're interested in Alpina cars, go check out Alpina. And if you're in the Netherlands, go check out Dusseldorp. They are importer for Alpina in the Netherlands, as I said. So big thanks to them for supplying this car today. Really enjoyed driving it. To you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.